Sorry for that strange cut there. I actually was trying to put all these on the sleeves because I have a good feeling that a lot of those cards are worth a good amount. So, uh, moving on, let's go ahead and let's open the first vintage drop I got. It's going to be a B drill base set two. We're going to have a rocket energy. And we're going to have ourselves a jungle Snorlax. So these cards are actually pretty nice to have. So I'll put that over there. On the quest to complete my uh, base set, base two set, by be base two set, I don't know for a base set, but here. All right, so we have the Manectric. Um, sometimes I don't know how these pronounce, so you might get that and go, huh? No. Just roll with me on that, okay? We've got a Dragon Master Knight. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. I'm a little worried about the top corner, but uh, hopefully good things, right? So let's put that over here in this pile. Okay, really cool stuff here. We have a Novan. So many Pokemon. I've been so long out of the Pokemon game, I don't even know. Looks like we got a couple more packs to open. Harry Potter rare card. I was surprised to find out the, uh, that some of these Harry Potter cards that you can pull from here are actually fairly expensive. So we'll keep that for the boosters for Harry Potter. Make everybody happy. All right, so let's see what we got here. We've got a Yvetel GX, boom, boom. Looks like it's been a little bit so it's out of the fire protector. We got scratched up a little bit, that's unfortunate. And here we have the Akashic Magician along with another Akashic Magician. Would you look at that, folks? Now we're cooking with oil. Do, 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 do. Oh, did you guys see that before I popped it off the side? Hope you did. Pikachu EX comes from, let's see what the number is. XY124 promo card. Hopefully that's got some value to it, huh? And if it doesn't, it'll just add it to the normal personal collection and we'll kind of go forward from there. Not too much to worry about, guys. Uh, this card. Sarayu. This is where I'm limited in my knowledge. If I called my cousin, he'd probably know all about these. <sighs> I'm actually going to see him next month, so maybe I bring some of them and give him some of the, to add to his collection. All right, so we have a jungle pincer. And remember, guys, I'm getting these from Goodwill of all places. Pretty good condition. Um, pretty psyched when I get them. I've had a, a number of busts, right? I think I've told you about that where cards just come bent or scratched or uh, in the last video I had cards that had the yellow outside rim here um, turning white early, which is kind of a bad sign. I don't know what kind of environment that was in, but uh, yeah, so we got a Haunter and a Ghastly. Sorry, I didn't bring the, put those up for you. Um, and I got a Pokemon packs. Pokemon packs, guys. We might actually end the day with Pokemon open. So we've got an Astral Radius. Radiance, and then a match battle Pokemon. So these, I believe, came from, oh, one of the Pokemon's training sets or whatever you call those. All right, so let's go ahead and... Now, I've noticed a lot of this one coming up, and I'll show you in a second. Team Aquas cards. Aquas and... Oh, I forget, Magma or something like that. These are starting to pile in. So good solid cards to have. Once again. I mean if you're doing a number on my collection so far, which we haven't seen most of it. We've seen a very little amount. We value pretty good. So I only take cards that have the potential to value up. Um, that's why I hate opening packs so much because I have so much extra. Mad Magician of Black Chaos. I should take that back. I am blessed to be able to open up cards on the side. 
<laughs> uh, I might get these a little bent because I don't know why they do this. So we have Virtual World Machine, Lol, Lolu, Paris Rest Map, Speedroid Scratch, Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray, The White Stone of Legend, Uria, Lord of Searing Flames. That's a cool card. Virtual World Roshi, Lao Lao, Dogmata Punishment, and Wing Requit uh, Requital. I don't know how to say that last one. Sorry, guys. All right, so not, as you saw, none of those, they were all in this one little baggie. So they're going to need to be taken out, sleeved up, put it into a new uh, fresh plastic case. You kind of go from there. So let me open up my next one. Mm -hmm. And this one is an interesting. So this one is Quartania. Lohan Raichu with a little bit of wheezing on side. A Pansir. Hmm. And I'll just go through these ones real quickly. Rowlet, Litten, Floet, and Rockruff. And that's what I tend to find a lot of in these Goodwill stuff is played cards. People who actually played the game, which is cool to see because I tell you, I don't know, I don't really know many people who actually play the game. I know plenty of people who collect though. Pidgeotto. Polyrath. Looks like a base computer search. Cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. Um, looks like we've got another, more base cards, I think. We'll see. Nope, negative on the base cards. There's something different. So, still cool, though. Is there an ass? Look at that. There's an ass. And you tell me why people turn in these cards to Goodwill. You tell me. Some of these, most of these cards are in good condition so far. So I'm pretty curious to know why they would bring it. Maybe it's for the tax deduction. They don't know how to sell them online. Maybe they're just young kids. I don't know. Our kid's getting older. There we go. So we have a signed World Championship card. Uh, Celebi. World Championship, as you can see, 2012. Um, I don't know the value of World Championships because my price grading site doesn't account for them. So I'll have to maybe look on one uh, in an easier space. But I just haven't had time to dedicate looking up the pricing of all those World Championship cards I have. And I have like 30. All right, so we have the Black Horn of Heaven. We have Mirror Force. We have Levia Dragon. Daedalus. Daedalus. Ooh. All right, moving on to the next one here. This is going to be a heavy Yu-Gi-Oh! haul is what it looks like. And then once again, if I could just tell them over at Goodwill, please don't pack them in little packs like this. It's extremely hard for me to get out. All right, there you go. Without uh, hurting it. All right, so here we go. We have Fossil Warrior. Skull Knight, Rank Up Magic, Ancient Chaos Force, Godrilla, the Mystery Dash Kaiju, Kaiju, Horse of the Floral Knights, Appliancer, Kappa Scale, Elemental Hero, Chaos, Neos, Blackwing, King of the Cra King of the Crack of Dawn, it's a funny name, Thought Ruler, Archfiend, Surveys the Ancient and Ascended, Contrast Hero, Chaos, Ice Mirror, Infernoid Deca Decatron, Ice Barrier, and Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. So these all look like they are ultra rare cards. Uh, the funny thing is, is, some of these names, I feel like they're taking out of a name generator and put them, pop them in. Like, what should we name our, our current set that we have out? I don't know. Let's go online and ask ChatGPT. All right. And then you have another XY Dragon can that I pulled earlier today. Or... In addition, All right, I see one that I'm really going to like here. I hope you guys too. Do too. I'm not going to say it beforehand. We're just going to go for it. Charizard GX. Anything from Charizard is actually pretty cool. To be honest with you guys. What, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. If I could complete my Charizard set, that would be cool. Never going to happen. I don't know what the cost is of an even rated 5 card uh, from PSA. Probably very expensive. The duo. 
spin rack, and a Nidorino. Nidorino. I don't know if I said this one, but there's no Zeria Devel. All right, and then we have more of the Harry Potter game. And then, like I said, I don't know how these can be so valuable. But uh, they are. And these cards actually don't fit the same things. They might not open those because they don't seem to be trading cards. Mm, probably worth more value closed. All right, so now we're getting back into the XY era for Pokemon. And we have Ecladio EX, Kingdra EX, and the Mewtwo EX. So I'm hoping that those are going to hit. Right, and you can kind of see before I even grab these what these cards are. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's like I said, this is a real haul from Goodwill. Um, Alakazam. It's not like I'm getting this for a dollar a pop. I'm still paying a good amount, but uh, within reason, right? So all of these cards have every single um, offer that I get. I put in. I always make sure that these every card has value for every single uh, thing they provide me or every sale they provide me. All right, Ash Grendra EX. So my broken EX can now be repaired. And I can probably sell the older one. I believe that's the one that comes out of the Grendra, Ash Grendra pack, so. All right, so we have the, how do you say this? Megondel and Guzzlord GX. Yeah, that's when they were getting too crazy. <laughs> Way too crazy. Oh, look at this. This is something that's worth a considerable amount. Oh, it's Shining Dragon. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. So, still really cool. Gotta love their dragons in that game, huh? You and me. Do, 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 do. All right, so. We have... Desperado, Barrel Dragon, Rank Up Magic, Quick Chaos, Ancient Gear, Megaton, Megaton Gloom, Amazon is Call. So we'll keep that in the sleeve and then we'll see what the rest of those. Oh, I have something that I've never seen before. Check this out, guys. Green Font, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, First Edition. Interesting. I wonder how much this is valued at. Like I've said before, I'm extremely surprised about the values for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't think anybody really knows that they're valuable. Players are buying them. Collectors are buying them. And they're just getting put in these Goodwill packs, you know, 10 to 1. And uh, nobody knows. Dark Ruler Hades. We have Evolution Burst. We have Ru Senchi. We have Ritual Beast Tamer Elder, Serpent Knight Dragon, Ben on the top right. It's okay, that's normal. Pendulum Impenetrable, Onomatopia, number 86, Heroic Champion. I'm not even going to say that. Rongo Manad, <laughs> Gold Goblin Fan, and then a messed up Dark Necrofear. Dang, okay. Well, you know, we can't win them all, right? So I have one final thing I'll be opening in this video. And that is going to be these Taco Bell Digimon cards. I have no idea what these are valued at. These were, I believe it was $5.99 for the entire stack. Uh, let's see. I don't even know how I show these off. So I've got Digimon, Coromon, Togemon, uh, Angamon. <laughs> Let me just put this in the same order so it doesn't get so hard. One sec, people. I don't know if I could be like that. I give anything just to live one day in those shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed my singing. High quality. Only the best for you guys. Only the best. All right. Machine Germon. Devimon, Ayatsumon, Navaramon, 
Kari. And if you guys are seeing a theme here, I am too. Magna Angnamon. Good old Matt. Ayo Sora. Garu Uman. Man. Bio Man. Akuka Uko Man. Dangamon. Sunamon. Akira Ukman. Another Akira Ukman. And then finally, Devimon. And then behind, you can see there's a card for every single one of them. So it's kind of interesting. Hopefully, there's some value to those, but I didn't take those to win. All right. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for this uh, watching me during this session. Um, as always, uh, I am grateful for the support I get. And I just wanted to say if you want me to keep doing this, give it a like. And uh, if you could, please, please, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.